Hello everyone and in this video today we are going to learn how to write trading and validation loops in PyTorch. And it's very important to learn and understand how to write training and validation loops in PyTorch and not just use abstractions all the time because there's a lot of cool things that you can do and when you're presented with a complicated problem you have to go into the code and change stuff. And this is very easy. It's very easy to write training and validation loops in PyTorch. So uh, let's start with uh, defining a function. Let's call it train one epoch. So you know where this is going. In the in the last lecture that we had, we uh, saw that how to train a simple linear regression model using PyTorch. And in that we have already written training and some validation loop, but we are now separating it from the actual training loop and keeping it somewhere else in different functions. And this is how we will be using it. So we call it train one epoch. Now it takes some arguments like the model itself. You have data loader, you have optimizer, and you can also have scheduler. I will come back to that. So now you have these three things and what you do is you, the first thing that you do is you put your model in train mode. Once your model is in train mode, you init the total loss at zero. In the beginning, you don't have any loss. And then you loop over the data loader. So what you can do is you can say for batch index and data in enumerate, since we are using enumerate, we have the batch index, otherwise we don't have that. Data loader. And here you can calculate a loss from the model. So you can say um, my loss equals some function. So let's call it pain one step. So now you see this one is training one epoch and for everything inside the data loader, it's called one step. So train one step and inside that you have data, maybe also the model. So you need model, you need data and you need optimizer. So kind of the same arguments, but we have separated into different functions and total loss. Um, so you can also calculate average in the end, return the average or simplicity here. I'm just returning total loss. So we got this function train one epoch. And now let's transfer it here. And let's change this one to train one step. So we have the same arguments, model data loader. No, not the data loader. We have data. So we have data and the optimizer. And the first thing that we do here is so in training one epoch, you did model or train. You put the model in train mode. The first thing that you do in every step is optimizer. Is you have to zero grab the optimizer. Optimizer dot zero grab. And if you don't understand this, look at the previous videos in the series. Uh, I have explained it there. And loss will be, let's say your the forward function of the model returns a loss so model and we send the data um there's also one more thing that you have to do with the data you have to convert it to uh, it should be in the form of torch tensors so here you should ensure that data is on the same device as model and one thing we forgot data since data is a dictionary we do it like this and whatever or the keys of data should be exactly same as the models forward function. Only then you can use this. Otherwise, what you can do is you can uh, you can write something like for k comma v in data dot items, and then you can do something like data k equal to v.2 and send it to some device, let's say CUDA. 
if your model is on CUDA. Um, so once you do this, uh, you have the model forward function. Okay, let me not delete it, but I will just hide it. You have the models forward function and you can say loss equal to, let's say that returns loss and you have some argument x, which is data x and some argument y, which is data y. But the way I do it is like, if, if your uh, class, the data class returns the same keys as what is expected in the models forward function, you can do it simply like this. You might have to do this if, if they are not on the same device, you're going to get some error, but uh, you can just simply do loss equal to model, just asterisk, asterisk, data. Okay, but that's your choice. So let's keep it uh, like the previous way for now, like this. Okay, so now we have uh, calculated a loss. And the first first thing that we do after calculating the loss is we do loss.backward. Okay, and after that, um, what we do is uh, we have the, so first we have the zero grad the optimizer we have loss or back backward then we have optimizer dot step so that's it actually uh, let me write it optimizer dot step and here you can return loss so now you have written a function for training one epoch which depends on another function for training one step. Now the scheduler part. The scheduler part is very important. So sometimes we want to step the scheduler after one epoch. Sometimes we want to step it after one step. And if you do it this way, it's very easy to remember where to step the scheduler. Let's say you have scheduler and you want to step it after every epoch, after every uh, step. So, so you can do scheduler dot step here. Simple and easy. Um, okay, so now you have written a function that trains for one epoch and gives you the total loss. Total loss. Um, but you can also write one function that gives you the validation loss. Now for valid validation loss, we don't need to do a lot of things. We don't need to change much. So I will just say validate one epoch. We need model, we need data loader, optimizer and scheduler we don't care about anymore. And we put the model in eval mode. Total loss and this will become validate one step. No scheduler, no optimizer. And here I will just copy this function and put it here call it validate one step model data remove the auto uh, zero grad uh, remove this remove loss backwards remove optimizer and we are done so uh, one thing that we can do here we can write or maybe we can just write here with dot dot no grad and calculate the loss. So as simple as that. And now you have a function for validating one epoch, validating one step, training one epoch and training one step. And it's as simple as that. The only thing that you have to remember is optimizer.zero grad, then the loss, then optimizer step. Scheduler you can put anywhere you want. It depends on the scheduler. And model.train when you're training one epoch. So this, these are these are very few simple things that you have to remember. And in the next um, uh, videos in this series, I will be using these function as 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 they have been shown here. So it's uh, it's a good idea to learn them. Um, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, share it to your friends. And if you have not seen the previous videos uh, in this series, please go and watch them. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.